Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com and we're getting ready to drop a deuce. As always, if you're having some fun digging what we're doing, we'd appreciate it if you'd give us the thumbs up, give everybody a chance to smash it right here at the beginning. Boom, there you go, just like that. Of course, while you're smashing, sm smash that subscribe button as well. And of course, let us know what you're playing, whatever plays you got worked up for today. NFL, soccer, doesn't even matter. Whatever you got an advantage in, put those plays in there. You get them right. We'll give you the shout out. And you get enough of them right. And you could be the capper of the day. All right, guys. Uh, quick recap of yesterday. Don't know where the hell my video went. Uh, put it up. Made a video. Posted it. Checked it. Made sure that because uh, as you uh, familiar with my work, I've posted the wrong video a couple of times. So I've gotten in the habit of going to our channel and just coming in through the front door, checking the video, make sure everything's good and got the right video and all that. Of course I did it. It was there and now it's gone. It was, I don't know where it went. So if anybody saw it, if anybody like was up early in the morning or late at night, whatever, and you saw the video, let me know. I'd like to know what time it went down. So yeah, anyway, let's, uh, hopefully this one will stay up. And I do want to, uh, I'll tell you real quick what I had. Of course, we're all in the honor system here, so you have to, uh, you'll have to take my word for it. I went uh, three and zero, oh, killed it, absolutely uh, three locks. Chero, fantastic job. No, we had, uh, we did go two and one. We had uh, started off with a loser as we had uh, Pittsburgh and Vatek over fifty six, and that one didn't get there. Wind, wind didn't, ended up killing us in that one, but we did better in the other ones. We had uh, Purdue and Iowa under forty two and a half, and we had UTSA. Minus 17 over the Rice Owls, and they shut them out. So uh, two and one there. One and three on the premium side as we had the, uh, we hit UAB minus 16 over a very bad Southern Miss team. But uh, a couple of our overs absolutely shit their pants. Uh, Missouri A&M ran out of gas on that over. And uh, it was the opposite situation. Western Kentucky and ODU, they got started late and couldn't quite get there in spite of the fact uh, Western Kentucky put up, uh, uh, 42, just, uh, 43, whatever it was, 42, 21. Uh, I think it ended, I think it ended 64. So eh, brutal. So anyway, that was, uh, that was, oh, and then we had Florida, which, you know, holy crap. We talked about how Florida had been able to stop the run. LSU hadn't been able to run the ball. They got there and just gashed them for 323 yards. So that's how you go one and three on the premium side. Um, as far as, uh, Scott and I, his video, we each went two and one on the, uh, on our college plays as well. Okay. I think that brings everybody up to date. So let's take a look and see what we got cooked up for today. We're going to play the Dallas Cowboys <clears throat> minus the three points at New England. Yeah, I know it's three and a half most places, but as I record this at 2 a.m. Eastern time or... Um, it is actually, by now it's 3 a.m. Eastern time. The line is still the same. So I've got it at bet online at minus 127. So you're probably, it's almost like you're buying it. It's almost like you're buying that half a point. So if you want to, uh, uh, you know, get a, get a flat three or maybe even, uh, you know, minus 105, something like that, that's probably out there or three and a half rather. I mean, sorry. So anyway. Uh, we're going to officially make it minus three, though. I'll, I'll pay the minus 127. I'm okay with that. In fact, I've already I've already made that bet. Um, so here's the deal. Even though the Cowboys are likely to ba be banged up a little bit, the defensive backfield, they got both of their sa safeties and their uh, they're all-everything cornerback that's had six picks on the year. Uh, they're all questionable for this one. So if we were closer to game time, I could give you a better read on this. But regardless, I just don't think Mac Jones and the non-existent pass rushing attack, by the way, um, they are average 80, 80 yards per game. That's 27th in the league. A uh, very inconsistent passing game. They're 19th. I just don't think they're going to be able to generate enough offense to keep up with Dallas. Um, New England is 26th in scoring. They have uh, yet to score over 25 points, while Dallas tied for the lead in points per game, and they have uh, failed the top 25 just one time. That was in game one. Or, uh, there was a game against the Chargers. Um, Cowboys defense, they have seen a, a ton of improvement this year, probably the biggest area of improvement for the Cowboys and their two-headed rushing attack with uh, Zeke and Pollard. 
Uh, by the way, Zeke, number one in the NFL. Pollard, number four in rushing. That's pretty incredible. Uh, but this, uh, the, uh, here's the deal. Cowboys are going to get a lead, and then New England is going to be forced to throw, and that's not going to be a good thing with Mac Jones. They just... Uh, they uh, they just don't they just don't have a running attack. They don't have any reason for Dallas to even uh, respect the run game at all. And once you turn them one dimensional, you've you've already won the game. So in most cases, that's the that is true. We're gonna play Dallas minus the three points, and <clears throat> we're gonna play a two team teaser, kids. Um, we're gonna start off with the Chiefs and the Washington Football Team. Uh, total in this one is 54 and a half. We're going to tease it down to 48 and a half and play the over. Uh, the two worst scoring defenses in the league square off in this one. Uh, f- two fun facts. Uh, Washington football team gave up uh, 30 to Atlanta and 29 to the Giants. If that doesn't say enough about your defense, I don't know what does. Meanwhile, uh, Kansas City, they gave up 397 yards passing to Jalen Hurts. Mic drop right there. Um Chiefs, their game so far this season have averaged 63.4 points per game, and they have been under 48 and a half exactly zero times. Meanwhile, excuse me, Washington averages 55.6 points per game, and they have been under uh, 48.5 just once in week one against the Los Angeles Chargers. These teams, horrible defenses, I think, uh, Heineke, is going to look like a, uh, a possible MVP against this Chiefs defense. They're going to be uh, missing Chris Jones for this one. And uh, they are going to be uh, uh, missing um, corner uh, Sneed in the backfield as well, the defensive backfield. So it's going to, be, going to be an ugly day for the Chiefs defense. Look for a lot of points in this one, guys. We're going to play the over 48 and a half, teased. And <coughs> speaking of the Chargers... We're going to tease their game with the Baltimore Ravens. Chargers, two and a half point dogs. We're going to tease them up to uh, eight and a half. We're going to go through all the key numbers the other direction. This is based on a very simple premise for me. I don't think there's any team in the NFL right now that is eight and a half points better than the Chargers. Okay? That's just the way it is. Baltimore, very fine team. Uh, Good chance they win this game. That's why they're they're, uh, probably a little better team right now. But, uh, you know, this Chargers team... They find new ways to lose or not cover, but they're generally competitive and they're in it till the fourth quarter. I think that'll be the case here in this one. I think this is easily going to be a one-score game one way or the other. So give me that teaser. Chargers plus eight and a half and the Chiefs football team over 48 and a half in that two-team teaser. And we'll start it off with the Dallas Cowboys minus the three at minus 127. At the end of those three games, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets. And head back to the window. All right. Well, since there's no video, obviously there's no capper of the uh, day. I will tell you um, who had uh, very good days, who made money uh, on Friday. Steve Goggins, Thomas Bowe, Dave Del Pazzo, The T-Train, Henry Martinez, Memon Thunderbird got juiced, by the way, uh, Brandon Zerfus and Black Lavender. And your capper of the day. Seattle's finest. It's Legion of Picks going to 1-0 on a three-team parlay, plus 725. He hit uh, three-team parlay on alternative alternative line. So well done to Legion. Well done to the rest of you. All right. Hope everybody had a great Saturday. And uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys will all get to see this video. All right. So thanks for watching, of course. And uh, we appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Good luck on all your plays. We'll see you tomorrow.